Thank you for staying with Prime Edition. Time to get the latest in the world of business. My name is Betty Kiptum. Retailers have been warned against selling the 10 batches of edible fats and oils that were flagged by the Kenya Bureau of Standards over non-compliance. Industrialization Principal Secretary Ambassador Peter Kaberia says the four companies manufacturing the 10 brands have been issued with letters of recall and consumers and traders should follow the set-out procedure to return any product to the respective maker. Ambassador Kaberia says substandard products work against the market expansion strides made by the government and corrective action will be taken to avoid such mishaps. On Friday last week, the Kenya Bureau of Standards recalled edible oil and fat brands from four local manufacturers on account of higher than stipulated iron levels. So the procedures of ensuring that uh, in, uh, verification is done and this testing is done is not a spot thing it is continuous it's done throughout so the industry has a responsibility to ensure that their products are compliant and we don't make reference to them we go straight to the product uh, as as to whether they should be compensated for this uh, there are provisions uh, for composition. The standards body argues that for every kilogram of edible oil and fat, the iron level should not exceed 25 grams, a standard that the companies had not complied with. But it's not the entire brand that is banned, it's a batch. Even as we speak, we have a market surveillance team that is around all over the country just buying products randomly from every part of this country and all these get tested. Keb says the investigations have narrowed down the irregularity to specific batches from the affected brands and the quantity of specific products that should be recalled still remains unknown. Keb's issued a list of the 10 batches from the brands and have reassured consumers that other brands are safe for consumption. In addition, the Ministry of Industrialization and Trade says the iron variation that triggered the recall does not have health implications, but has commercial misalignments that tips market scales. Ambassador Caberia says such irregularity would not be tolerated in the international market and could tarnish the country's reputation if exported. To reassure the public that whatever else is in the market from the respective brands is the safe, is safe and there is no cause for alarm. The purpose for this is to safeguard or protect safety and health of consumers to ensure that they are aware of the products that have been uh, withdrawn. Keb says it does not expect the affected batches to still be on the shelves and a surveillance system has been set up to ensure compliance. And while the 10 flag brands may not have adverse effects on your health instantly, the Kenya Bureau of Standards still advocates that you return them to the manufacturer. Hibak Said for Prime Edition.